Hello everyone and welcome back to Technocrats Technology Reviews, your stop for unbiased reviews on everything technology, whether it be software, hardware, or just plain interesting websites. My name is Matt and today we'll be reviewing probably one of the most interesting and useful pieces of software I've come across in a very long time. The software is called Prey, is developed by Fork Limited, and can be found at PreyProject.com. That link will be in the description. So what does Prey do? Prey advertises itself as a cross-platform tracking device for all of your electronics. Being a victim to more than a few electronic thefts in my time, I was ecstatic to play around this program, see exactly how it works, and exactly what it does. The first thing you see when you go onto the Prey Project homepage is um, two options. One is to download the program for any of the five operating systems that it runs on. As you can see, it'll automatically detect which operating system you're running it on, as it gives me the option to download it for Windows. And the second option is to watch a video on exactly what the program does and how it works. The reason why you'd want to watch this is just to make sure that it's not going to uh, wreak havoc on your computer. As most other programs that advertise itself to do what Prey does are merely malicious programs that will take advantage of your computer and um, and may render it completely useless. Um, since Google Chrome is my primary browser, when I had first loaded this up, the video was only showing the bottom half at the top of the screen, so I was unable to actually watch the video and double check on this program to make sure that it was legit. Uh, I was kind of walking in this one blind. What I found out, though, was that the install process was incredibly user-friendly, and by install process, I mean from the time it's downloaded to the time it's fully set up and ready to use. Once the client program is installed on your computer, it will put you through to a configuration page where they have a couple easy-to-set-up options of when and how you want Prey to report to you in regards to your computer's location. Now, this is the part I was a little bit hazy on at first. I was worried that this program was going to be reported reporting the location of all of my devices every 10 to 40 minutes, every day, all day. Which, as you can guess, would uh, make my email pile up quick with trash I didn't really care about, just in the hopes that I'd have it once I needed it. After you've gotten the client program all configured and synced up with the Prey account, which is creatable through the setup process, you go to the Prey control panel, which is right here as I do a quick scene change. Um, once you're in the control panel, it will give you a list of all the different tasks or objects that you're keeping track of on your account. The control panel itself is located on the Prey Project website. Uh, it's this login button that will appear right here. It's not showing up right now because I'm obviously logged in. Um, and in here, it gives you the wonderful options of activating and deactivating a wide variety of options that you can't find inside the actual control panel itself for the client-side program. The key feature to note right here is that um, you have an option that says missing, and it says no right now. This will allow it to report and not report according on its missing status. So if I were to set it to yes, click on save changes, it would begin to report to me um, every 10 minutes exactly what's going on with my computer so long as my computer had internet access. But I'm going to go ahead and change that back to no and save changes real quick. Um, so it I, I just out of curiosity I went ahead and set it at the uh, the lowest uh, the f highest interval frequency I guess um, 10 minutes uh, per interval and I went ahead and set it on uh, missing and then save the changes just to see exactly what would happen um, as soon as I set the changes to that I had received an email from Prey Project directly saying they were sorry for my loss and that I should be receiving a report within 10 minutes of the time that I had received the email so I went ahead and timed it. Uh, it wasn't exactly spot on the money. I had received the first report about 18 minutes after I had sent it, set it to missing, but it did report a wealth of information. Let me go ahead and pull this up. As you can see, it, showed, it gave me a picture of an unsuspecting me um, setting up setting up the Prey program on my Android phone, and then it showed exactly what I was doing on my desktop, and then it told me what user I was logged into on the computer, how long I had been logged into the computer, and all the different active connections, all the different IP addresses that were in the local area, along with the exact trace of the IP that I was actually connected to, all the way down to the um, county that I'm in. Given to the authorities, that IP address with the county uh, could provide much more useful information. They could track it even further down to an address. And that's just the computer elements. 
uh, let me get back here real quick. The uh, the phone elements are even have most of the exact same features along with a few extras. I won't be able to show you all of the features because they're actually on the phone's control panel itself, um, but it has things such as um, SID card tracking, uh, GPS tracking, or SIM card tracking, sorry, GPS tracking, SIM card tracking, and remote activation via text messages. To simplify that, it would tell me where the phone is, um, if someone had changed the phone number by replacing the SIM cards, and it could also tell me, or and I could also enable it not only through the Prey control panel here, but with a less subtle text message from any other phone that I had available, just in case I didn't have the internet access and all I had was another phone. Um, now on to the bad. There really wasn't that much to complain about this. When I first created my account, I actually couldn't get started with the program for a few hours because it wouldn't allow me to log into the control panel account without activating it. And it took a few hours for the activation email to come through. Granted that if you do use this program, it should be a preemptive measure and not a postemptive, as in you should install it now as opposed to after you get it stolen so that you can track it when it's stolen. Um, so the timing may not be an issue. Next on the list is that there is a list of features under the actions to perform. Uh, for instance, I have the alarm set on my phone. I had lost it earlier. I'm going to save that change. Um, that I would like to have them so that I can just set them, and then when I click on the missing thing and then click on save changes, it starts doing those every 10 minutes. However, it says right here that if you're running the latest version of Prey, which is 0 0.5.3, um, they will run regardless of whether it's set to missing or not, which means if you set it to lock, every time you open your laptop, you're going to have to put in the password that you set, or it's going to show pop-ups every 10 minutes saying the, uh, the laptop is stolen and that it's being traced, or it's going to make a really loud sound for 30 seconds every 10 minutes. Um, again, that's really not much of an issue. Once you finally wrap your head around it, um, once you understand that that is the case, you can actually use it to your advantage. Like I said, I had lost my phone earlier, so I simply set the alarm on, and uh, sure enough, 18 minutes later, my phone made an alarm, I was able to find my phone, everything's hunky-dory. Fork Limited was very giving with the free accounts that they give you, as uh, in comparison with their pay-to-use uh, pay accounts. Uh, they give you three free devices, along with ten reports per device as a starter. And their pay-to-use pay accounts start at $5 a month or, 55, or $54 a year. Uh, their monthly or yearly subscription plans, as you can see right here. And just the cheapest one gives you the same number of devices, but it ups the uh, the maximum reports to 100. Now, personally, I don't see the necessity of having to get any form of pay-to-use, with the exception of maybe uh, having the activation modes and all the uh, the custom options that you get with the pro membership. But the uh, the reports that they give you are completely deletable. So it is very possible to open up the pictures and then save the pictures elsewhere in your computer, copy down all the information, and then delete the report. And yes, you'll delete it permanently if you need to make space. The final verdict of this entire uh, system right here, this entire wonderful system of GPS tracking that they've incorporated here at Prey, is that it is a must-use. This program is very useful and uses a very small amount of resources in the background of whatever you're running it on. With being in the middle of the worst economy in 80 years, the necessity for being able to keep track of your electronic valuables becomes even more crucial. Um, so, like I said, the biggest key point is that it's free. You can keep track of all of your items for free, and it's very, very effective. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Until next time, my name is Matt.